What's going on everybody? It's Hayes Carlson coming back at you over here at Floyd's RV in beautiful Mormon, Oklahoma. And today we're going to be talking about the KZ Durango Half Ton D286BHD. Guys, this is a really cool half ton towable bunkhouse. I'm going to show you guys all about it, kind of what sets it apart from the rest of the competition and why I like it so much. So let's get into it, guys. Like I said, D286BHD, and this is the climate package, so we have the heated and enclosed underbelly in this guy. One thing about KZ is they have the true hits to bumper two year limited warranty. Really cool stuff. Now right here by the door, you'll have a little lease latch so you can hook up the dogs so they can hang outside with us. Underneath are two big 14 foot awnings. Both have LED strips in there. We've got some speakers on the outside so we can get some music going. Of course, we're pre-wired for Furion uh, blind spot as well as backup cameras. We've got two GFCI outlets over here. In our pass-through storage, you know we got the magnet door. Under here, we got plenty, plenty of space. Here's the Xantrex sign inverter. This thing is really, really, really cool. We're gonna talk more about that in just a minute. Here's our big 50 amp power cord because this is a 50 amp unit. We do have the slam latch doors. And then over here on this side is where we have all of our solar prep. So here is our charge controller, our battery disconnect, our lithium charging system, lithium or lead AGM. Now guys, we are set up for the tire link so we can get our tire pressure monitoring system going on over here. Now guys, right here is where we would have our battery for our solar charger. Now this is the solar charger prep package. And there also is another package that we're gonna talk a little bit more about. Again, with the slam latches. Now going here in the front, we'll have this nice automotive grade front cap. Now guys, we do have some bugs on there because we just got this thing. You know I gotta bring it to you as fast as we get it. We'll have the Lippert chassis components pin box here. And then underneath, we've got plenty of storage here in the very front, guys. Really, really cool stuff. Now this does have a four point Lippert components auto level system. So we got our two jacks up here and two in the back. And then right here, we will have our two 30 pound propane tanks, guys. Really cool stuff. Now over on this end of our pass through, nice big storage area. We'll have our cable TV, satellite, GFCI outlets, outdoor shower. And then I really like this schematic here. I'm a big fan of ease of use and how to use these schematics. So guys, city water, dry camping, pressure fill tank, filler sanitized tank, winterized and sanitized. We can just turn these things on and off, either off or on, all of that good stuff. So it makes it really easy to accomplish what you're trying to do. And then we do have the hole, that way we can run all of our stuff without having to keep our pass-through storage door open. Here's our quick connect hose that will go right in there. Easy peasy. And we'll shut this guy down. Again, with the blind spot cameras, 50 amp service, guys. We do have a nice little light here too. Now moving on, we do have two slides, one for the bed, one for our main living area here. And then here is our auto level system over here too. Really neat stuff, guys. Now here in the back, we've got a humongous storage compartment in here, guys. I can fit in there. You could probably fit two of me in there. Crazy. Now this does have the Durango towing package, four pin wiring harness, two inch receiver, 3,000 pound tow rating, 300 pound hitch rating right on this guy. So, neat, neat stuff. Now guys, up here on the top, I'm gonna try to do this without hurting myself. Let's see if we can make it happen for you. Up here on the top, you'll notice that we do have two solar chargers. Guys, we got two solar chargers as well as two Coleman Mach ACs. Really ugh, neat stuff here, guys. Slam latches on this back door. Now going over here, we got a nice big outdoor kitchen, our suburban griddle with our propane quick connect hose and then our outdoor sink. So we've got the outdoor shower over on the other side. We also have the outdoor sink over here too, guys. We've got two different ways to spray you down. Nice little cork stopper. Awesome, possum stuff. 
move this guy in lock this guy down now we also have the hot point little mini fridge with the slam latch doors awesome awesome stuff guys now we'll have the solid steps and the lend a hand handy dandy handle but i know what you guys are waiting for let's get inside of this thing this is really cool guys we got two queen bunks in this thing this is awesome you need a little half ton towable fifth wheel that can sleep a bunch of people this is it so let's look around guys let me know down in the comments what you think what are some of your initial impressions? Beautiful kitchen here, guys. And we do have the six-person dinette. Of course, this guy's going to fold that into a sleeper. Look at how nice and cush these, these freaking pillows are, man. Awesome stuff. Definitely going to be comfortable in this thing. Let's start at the back and work our way up front, guys. Look at these bunks. This is huge. Two queen-size bunks under over. Both have the windows. We both have lights and outlets and three-prong outlets and USBs. All of that good stuff. Now we'll have a good amount of storage back here. Put some hanging clothes here on the bottom. And then the cool part about this is these bunks have a 500 pound capacity. Most bunks out there are going to have either a 300 or a 250 rating. This guy has 500. And then we do have this little door here. That way we can create some privacy. What do you think about that, guys? Big bunks. So if you guys plan on bringing some adults with you instead of just some kids, they're going to have a nice comfortable place to sleep. And then if you do have kids, you can double them up on those queen bunks, man. You've got plenty of space there. Now let's talk about this six-person U-shaped dinette, guys. We're going to have some storage underneath. Nice bins here for you. Same thing over on this side, again, with our bins. Now we can convert this guy to a sleeper very, very easily. I do like this kind of curved edge here on the table really nice touch and then these super cushiony soft pillows guys really awesome stuff now we do have the thomas Paine pull out couch here and with this thomas Paine pull out couch guys you're going to be able to sleep a couple of more people super easy to set up and over here in this slide look at these windows guys these things are huge you can have views on views and of course we do have the accordion style blackout shades some nice clicky lights and then over to the infotainment system guys we got a nice big connex tv that is on a swivel so we can take this guy and swivel them out around no big deal to where everybody around can have a good viewing space now up above we do have the tinted glass in all of our cabinetry plenty of storage for things like your dvds your movies your games all of that good stuff now guys, this does have the Dicor product, Tough Flex roofing system, 20 year warranty on the roof, guys. Crazy stuff. 20 years on that roof. Nice Inno Flame electronic fireplace. This thing's gonna change colors and put off a ton of heat. Furion infotainment system, that way we can hook up a USB, some aux cord, our headphones, Bluetooth, all of that good stuff with some speakers uh, mounted there as well as up above guys really really neat stuff let's talk about this kitchen in this kitchen we have got plenty plenty of pantry space also some storage down below the refrigerator speaking of refrigerators guys this is the dometic gas and electric refrigerator and this thing is big more storage up above now guys we do have ducted AC in this guy look at this huge fear on microwave man this thing is enormous more cabinet space above all around plenty of space for your silverware 
for your plates, for food, all of that kind of stuff, guys. This is a full residential style kitchen. Really beautiful stuff. And then we do have our nice solid surface countertops as well as our nice sink cover, stainless steel deep sink, and then our gooseneck faucet with the chef's nozzle on there so we can get a couple of different spray modes going. Now guys, we can stay engaged with KZ. They have an app on their phone that can control all kinds of stuff like your auto level, multiple slides, multiple awnings, light zones, tank monitors, you name it, it's gonna be able to do it. Now guys, we are pre-wired for Wi-Fi, multiple GFCI outlets all around, plenty, plenty of space underneath. Nice little trash can in there for you. Now guys, these drawers are reinforced and are able to hold up to 100 pounds in these guys. And they are soft close drawers. No slamming over here. Guys, look at this nice Furion oven and stove. Now we can fold this guy back to create us a nice backsplash and expose our three burners here. Now guys, I know we talked a little bit earlier about that solar charging system. I wanna tell you a little bit more about that. Option number one is the off the grid package. Uh, the off the grid package consists of a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter, two 110 watt flexible solar panels, and a 30 amp MPPT charge controller, guys. Really awesome stuff. So this does have the off the grid package. Freedom to power electronics anywhere, anytime. 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter, two 100 per, one, 110 watt flexible solar panels, and 30 amp MPPT card charge controllers. So we can use this thing to power things like your coffee machine, your blender, your laptop, theater seating controls, a CPAP machine, a vacuum, all kinds of stuff, guys. So if you plan on doing your dry camping or other RV adventures, you can really take it to the next level with this package guys really awesome stuff that kz has knocked it out of the park with here's one of our coleman mock whisper quiet acs now going over this away you'll notice this big guy nice place to put your coats maybe some hats up here two more gfci outlets awesome awesome stuff now guys over here is going to be our solar uh, setup so we can look at our different menus, we can set up, we can power it on and off. Two more GFCI outlets. Here is our Coleman Mach AC thermostat, and then our uh, Lipper Components infotainment system that is going to be able to control multiple different aspects of this trailer. Let's check out this bathroom, y'all. What do you think? Awesome foot flush commode here. Beautiful residential shower stainless steel faucets nice skylight up above and then our nice uh, shower curtain there there's me in the mirror and then back behind there we do have a nice medicine cabinet stainless steel sink underneath that we're going to have plenty more storage and then these drawers that would make a perfect place to put your toothbrushes or some toilet paper things of that nature now we do have the hooks over here so we can place some towels and then over here we do have some nice big deep storage so we can put more towels as well as toilet paper different stuff like that whatever you want to do and then going into the master bedroom as we have this nice bed here with some storage underneath here is our second coleman mock ac we are set up for a tv over here guys so we do have our outlets our king wi-fi set up two GFCI outlets over here too. Now in this drawer, this is where it gets really cool guys. We can put a washer and a dryer in here. So we can put a combo unit in, really easy, no sweat. Now over here, we'll have some plenty of space for your hanging clothes. And then some more drawers underneath that do have the soft clothes. More storage over on this side. Outlet for things like your CPAP machine. Storage up above. Storage up above over here as well. Awesome stuff. I'm a big fan of the dark wood cabinetry in here. I think it gives it a really classy feel. And then we got plenty of other storage on this other side, guys. But we just got this thing in. I thought it was really cool. 
Haven't seen a whole lot of the queen bunks like that. I think that that's a really neat thing that Durango has done, as well as all of the solar packages that this thing has. Guys, this thing is a dry camper's dream, especially if you're camping with adults or some bigger kids who need this extra space in the bunk room. Awesome stuff, awesome possum stuff. But guys, if you see yourself camping over in this thing, let me know. I'm gonna have my phone number, my email address, my Facebook page, a link to my inventory, as well as a link to KZ's website so you can learn more about this Durango Half Ton and all the other cool floor plans that they have to offer. But just like that, I'm gonna go and film another video for you guys. Hope you're having a great day and I will see you soon. See you later.